Right, so today we're going to be talking about City of God and Lahain. Go. Go. So we talk about how the scene is. We've got our guys, they're just sitting in the in the playground in their estates. They're like animals trapped in a zoo if you think about it. Now, the TV crew, they're in their jeep, 4x4, four four. they're behind the protective fence for safety reasons. Uh, I believe Hubert, Vince and Saeed, one of them, even says, <laughs> which translates into, why are you wussying out in your vehicles? Yeah, it might be wrong. It might be mole kapang or je m'appelle chocolat. You can also talk about this scene in a historical and ethnical sense. At the time of the movie, 1995, it was the time of the Paris riots. So people were just assuming the um, people in the riots just on based on how they looked, their backgrounds. And this is no mistake. Is it this turning? Ooh, Ooh maybe. Shit, probably was. And this is no mistake with, um, with, with this scene. Like, the, the news crew are just assuming that they were in the riots just, just, just based on just where they are. They're in the estates. They're just sitting in the courtyard. They're just around, just, just people in the estate, and, and they're just assuming that they're in the riots. Like, people were still recovering from the incident. Our guys, they're not in the riots themselves, but other people, just based on their backgrounds and where they are, where they live, the news reporters, for instance, they'll just assume that they were in it. Like, the specific words, I believe, or along the same lines of the words used by the TV reporter woman, it was, excuse me, have you been, were you boys involved in the riots? What can you tell me about it? Something along those lines. Ah. One of the key themes about Lahaine is police brutality. Like, the scene when they're on the roof, well, all of them in general, all of their mates, they're all having like a nice barbecue, minding their own business, not really breaking any laws strictly, for it's their property, so it's not really they're breaking any laws. They're not causing any disturbances or anything, but the police officer comes in and tells them to get off, just because of who they are. If it was a bunch of rich French people, city guys, I don't think it would have been a problem. Let's talk about the DJ scene, for instance. Whoa, hello, baby. The DJ scene, so he's playing his music, his talent, if you will, of his music. He's playing it out his window, because that's the only way that he can express it. You know, like, he's clearly got this talent, and there's no producers walking around the balayers. Like, is there any way of doing it? Is it just hope that maybe someone will appreciate his music? Even though in the scene, the camera has lots of close-ups of just other people there, and they just don't care. When the police officer calls him sir, they're in a the city. They're trying to visit their friend. They need they need directions. So Saheed goes up and asks asks a copper because he's the only one available for directions, and he comes back very very surprised and pleased that like, wow, this pig was so nice. No, his quote exactly was the pigs here are so nice. And this is just showing that just again with the ethnic minorities, just just how it's how it's disrespected. Just the police just disrespect them back in their balayer. So when they come to the rich part of the city, or when the police people there are just generally nicer, because the police aren't used to dealing with, with crooks just every second, so they're not automatically being rude to them. Because if anything, they, they just they just think that they live there, but then that's just, that's just what they're used to. That's just how it is. 
In a way, that's, that's why all of this stuff happens. Let's talk about the City of God opening scene. The scene itself is very fast paced, lots of different camera angles. Cut, cut, here, here, this, this, zoom in, POV shot to the chicken, zoom in to the guys, they're just, oh, let's eat some chicken, oh, this and that, let's cut up some carrots. The music in this scene, like I just expressed, exists. All over the beginning of the scene, especially in the slashing, it's got the loud funky bomba bomba bongo rhythm. I don't have any bongos on me. This is not good. So you've got the music throughout that scene. Now it's a type of like bongo-y type of feel, like upbeat drum, kind of funky music. You know, they're having a good time. They're about to eat their chicken and carrots. But the music's only there until stuff happens. So for instance, when the chicken finally escapes, and he's just walking down the street. Music's just stopped. Gone. Same with when Rocket comes in. Music just stops. You've got lots of different camera angles abused here. The chicken is already small. It's the, the camera physically has to be low to the ground. The directors always use the fact that you can point the camera up at Lil Z and everyone else to make oh, it shows that Lil Z has power. He's in control of the situation. He is forcing his gang members to play with guns to get a chicken. Now, Lil Z, he's our main bad guy. He starts at the bottom himself. He shot everyone at the whorehouse. That was basically one of the big things he did. Listen, it's quite ironic because he was a kid once and he was a he was kitty violence. It's also quite ironic because the kids are the ones who would they were taught to be violent because of Lil Z, gave them the guns, along with Carrot, but Lil Z gave them the guns, taught them what they know. He even brought it amongst themselves. He shot two of their mates and he killed one of their mates. At the end of the film, Lil Z is down, he's, he's hurt, he's got nothing left. Little kids come over to him. Oh, hey kids, let's go start the gang back up. We can do this, we can do that. But they want none of it. Immediately they just all start shooting him and he's dead. Death by kids. Both films are what they are, but the important point here is it doesn't matter how far you fall, it's just how you make the landing. And as always, well, not always, but thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't subscribe. Hand in hand. Everything is blue and blurry